Pat Lago, uh, welcome to TFNN. Ben, thank you so much. This is great to, to be on your show. Thank you for the invite. Well, we appreciate all the work you guys do. So tell us a little about, about exactly what you do and how the you know, neighborhood stores are right now. I'm sure it's been, it's been a tough haul. There's no doubt about that. But how is everyone doing? Yeah, thank you for asking. It, it, not just in our community, in several communities, of course, around the state of Florida and around the country. But yes. um, like you previously mentioned, it, it, it's keeping um, you know as much money as we can in our local communities. Right now, I'll be honest with you, I could not be more honest. I thought it would be a lot dire situation right now. But the perseverance of the Tampa Bay area, uh, St. Petersburg, Gulfport, um, a, a lot of the Pinellas County type cities, um, the 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 energy they're showing to make things work. You know, the big catch word is pivot. You know, last year they're pivoting to do something different yes. to make it work. And they've been doing that. And we're now we're seeing even more good old fashioned brick and mortars coming back in St. Pete and Gulfport, um, uh, online sales, uh, you know, different ideas that, that vendors and, and local business people are having. And it's, it's, it's working. And it's, it's so great to see. Uh, it's just yeah. a great, it's a, it's a present, uh, before Christmas to see this. There's no doubt. You know, you just brought something up, Pat, that's pretty cool because the, the national numbers came out this morning, uh, meaning on the amount of uh, credit card sales going through brick and mortar. And they went up yeah. tremendously, which is really cool to see. Because when we, when we start looking at the local shops, have you seen that a, local, a lot of the local shops actually are getting more business online now? Because that's something that they really didn't have before. Correct. Uh, some had websites and some did do things like that. And this is kind of where our festival comes in, too, because it shows people, oh, this store is over here, but I might be a snowbird who lives, you know, in Michigan. Well, how can I buy from St. Pete if I live in Michigan? Well, okay. they can do it online. So you're right. Businesses, the ones, unfortunately, that did have to close down early this year or last year, they are moved exclusively online. We were also helping out with that campaign uh, with as much free service as we could to promote those sites with local media. Um, and, and a lot of those businesses are doing well, website exclusive. Some have now reopened, some have moved to different parts of the city with a, small, a smaller brick and mortar, still have their websites up. Uh, so again, it's that team, uh, you know, that team uh, concept now to see everyone helping each other and, and that's the beauty of what we're seeing in the Tampa Bay area. Now, you just mentioned a, a, a festival. So is there a certain time of the year? I, I, I know there is. I'm just questioning when it is that, you know, the push is on, that you're saying, hey, man, this is the weekend. This is the week. You got to buy, 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 local, local, local. Yes, and that would be our Shop of Palooza Festival. Shop of Palooza is something we do uh, every year, except, of course, last year because of COVID. But we're kicking back again this year, and it's going to be literally not arguably, but literally our biggest one and truly one of the biggest uh, local independent uh, shop festivals uh, in the United States of America. This is basically Thanksgiving weekend. So okay. right after your, your Black Friday stuff, we kick in uh, uh, Saturday, November 27th, Sunday, November 28th um, at, at beautiful Vinoy Park in downtown St. Petersburg. Um, and we have, uh, man, it's just a blast to see uh, this one. We have over 300 local vendors. Nice. We, uh, uh, Esther Venuzio, the creator of local shops, actually sold out vendor spots a few months ago. That's how good she makes this. So people cannot wait. I mean, the, the list to get on is, is amazingly long. I mean, she really puts on an amazing festival. So we're going to include as much as we can this year, besides not only the shopping and the festivals, but you know, we take up over 11 acres. So it's yes. the food, it's the drinking, it's the it's the bands. I have the privilege of hosting the entertainment stage with all the local bands. Oh, lucky you. Uh, it's the, the, yeah, I know. That's my favorite thing. Um, the nonprofits we work with. And just to see thousands and thousands of people like we saw in 2019 come in because there's no, um, it's free to get in. There's no registration. Yeah. You, you just come on in. And the weather in November in Florida is beautiful. And it's just great to see people uh, just having a good time and getting those Christmas presents and just experiencing, oh, wow, there's more uh, local businesses here that I need to um, cater to year round. And if you've never been to Vinoy Park, folks, this is going to be a good time to go. So it's is it the weekend. Uh, it's Thanksgiving weekend, right? 
Is that what it's Correct. Called? Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. 27th and 28th, where there, it's uh, 10 a.m. to 5, both yeah. Saturday and, and Sunday. Uh, again, Vinoy Park. And uh, uh, there'll be trolleys. There'll be parking. Everything will be on the website, shopapaloozafestival.com. And there'll be uh, uh, trolleys to escort you back and forth from some of the downtown parking uh, areas. Because uh, so, parking can be at a premium over there. But we're going to help out as much as we can to vector people in. And of course, we encourage people encourage people to stay green, use their bikes, walk if they can, and you'd be amazed how many people do that. It's amazing. Oh no, we have a walkable city. There's no doubt about that. Hey, so let yeah. me ask you something. The the owner um, of you know local shops one did they start this basically as a venue that they could do you know basically events and and incorporate the local inside of that so they could get everyone going. Yes, Esther. That is so w- cool, man. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Esther Venusio is a special person. I mean, she's dedicated. I mean, the last, my God, uh, I met her in 2008. So the last 13 years to this. And then we start, she started the first shop of Palooza in 2009. Okay. And again, again, we only met the last years. But her idea, when I sat with her at a local coffee shop in downtown St. Pete in 2008, yes. she, she was. Uh, still working in the newspaper business, I was out of radio at the time, and she goes, here's my idea. I want to do this with local independent businesses. And I wasn't too familiar with that, but I said, if there's any way I can help you, whether emceeing events or promotions or whatever, I'm on board. And um, she immediately started this a a much smaller scale in 2009 for the first show of Palooza. But yes, we incorporated, I want to say maybe, maybe 50 vendors and okay. stuff like that and and, and uh, but to where it is now it just goes to show you the work and dedication that she's put in and the people supporting her and most importantly the entire tampa bay area you know you know what's so great about this is that this is a situation folks so you have a private entrepreneur that has a great idea that bottom line her company itself is going to do really well because everyone else is doing well I mean, that is that is the ultimate that I think we all would like to see. Do you know what I'm saying? That, and that's why I asked that question. Yeah. That is so cool, man. I mean, because I remember, you know, when Ray Clark was making McDonald's, I mean, he was excited to make McDonald's and all that, but he was also excited that he could make people a lot of money. And that's this is really cool, the aspect, because it's a lot harder for a small business to get the type of exposure that they're going to get at an, an event like the Vinoy. Absolutely. And, and and that's that's it. The progression of the venues over the years, you know, so um, I, I'm so happy to be to be there again at the Vinoy, which just, you know, you know, anyone in that area. It's just a, such a beautiful location. So uh, totally. I'm so excited. Well, listen, man, it's been a pleasure. You have a great one, safe one. And we'll have to get you on right before it so we can get you some more business, man, for sure. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you so much. Absolutely, Pat. You have a great one, a safe one. Thanks for all your work. Thank you.